Yo, everybody, it is TA Thursday. My name is Randy, and I'm going to be a host of the show. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to teach you guys the basic tools to become an above average trader without getting way, way too complex, way, way too noisy, and way too in-depth. Sometimes I feel people really do this thing called analysis paralysis, and they, they make things very, very over complex. There's a lot of really easy ways to be able to become an above average trader by some simple tools. But you guys, first of all, we got to start off. What program are we going to be using? I like to be using TradingView.com. TradingView.com, it works for me. It works well. I like the way it sets up. There's things like Coinigy as well, but TradingView is what I use. So TradingView.com. So if we're going to go like this, we're going to go into some charts. Um, I'm going to pull this out here. So actually, what I just clicked on right here is a hot list. Here's where you pull things up. But if you guys see how my chart is all nice and dark, I'm going to go to Bitcoin here. So you see my chart set up like this. It doesn't come like this. So if you want to be able to get things set up, you're going to click on this very, very top of this cogwheel for your settings. So you're going to go into, uh, if I'm going to go and I'm going to open up and I'm going to expand on one of these. So number one, what is this? This is a candle body. So if I want to go onto a candle body and I want to change it to whatever color, as you guys can see, you can make it whatever color, whatever color works for your eyes. Do that color, do whatever works for you, which makes it comfortable. I actually run my candles backwards. I run my green candles going down and my red candles going up. It just helps my psychology. It helps that, that emotional impulse to make irrational decisions when green candles are going up. It just works. So if you guys want to go to symbol, you can play around with this. You can change the color of your wicks. Um, also, so then if you go to your appearance, you want to go to background, you can have gradient. I just choose a black background. You can have whatever black works for me. It just absolutely does. So we're going to go with that. So if you go chart settings, play around, find out works. You can even put grid lines if you want. I don't personally, I don't like grid lines. As you can see, if you want to be able to set any grid points, you can just do that and with some, some of the tools I'm going to show you guys. So right there. Now, what is a candle body? This is what a candle body is. And what is this? It means it's a period of time. Now, these periods of time can change. So each time a period of time changes. So right now I have this on a one day. So if we take a look here, um, I also have the Trading View Pro. So it allows you to have some more custom settings. You don't need to get the super advanced pro where you have 100 million indicators and on 25 different computers. You know, just get something that allows you to be able to have some customized settings. It's like 15 bucks a month. It's worth it. So if you click on this drop down list, as you guys can see, you can go, I'm going to move myself out of the way. Uh, you know, you can scroll down, you can have all your custom minutes, you can have everything. Every time you put a star, so if you take a look right here, I go like this, I put a star, the one minute popped up. You don't need it. You can do whatever you guys want. So there, so that's what we have going on with that. So now that we've established, we can set, so this would be a six hour time frame, one hour, two hour, and all these help because it, it identifies what's going on with the story. And the longer you look back at the story or the further back, the better idea of the story you're going to tell. And the shorter the story, it's going to be a little more noisy. It's going to be a little chaotic. So what we're trying to do is just give you a bit of an advantage to, um, to find out maybe for your next move. So if you're trying to make shorter, shorter trades or shorter moves, the one day is not going to be ideal for you. The one minute might be too noisy, but the one day might not be good for just quick swing trading. There can be a lot of movement in a one day period, especially on a small altcoin. So now that we've established that, the next thing that we're going to do, there's indicators. So if you look into here, so your indicators are going to be very, very important. So for me, I have a list of my favorite indicators. So if you're going to look on the bottom, so here is some of your indicators. These are things that, oh, shoot. <laughs> here's some of the indicators that I really, really like, but we're not going to get into that. That's not what this is about, but this is where you go to find indicators and you can type search. You can type in, um, if you go, so, oh wait, stochastics. There's, there's going to be a variety of other things. So you guys can, uh, like I said, in further videos, we're going to cover through that. But right now, I'm clearing these things up. And also, if you want to zoom in, you double click and it'll allow you to zoom in on that a little bit more. So we're going to get rid of that. So also, too, with other things, if you want to just kind of make things hide out, you can duck it out and volume. I find volume is really important. Um, and if you want to go and set all your volume stuff, I'm going to teach you how to change all that as well. I like keeping volume one color. 
uh, it gets rid of that biased opinion of like, oh my God, this was a red going here. That means there's more selling this. I just want to see the interest and the participation of the contracts being purchased at that time. Now, if we're going to go into drawing tools, very, very simply, you're probably one of your major tools you're going to have is, is your horizontal support and resistance sign. So you can click on your horizontal line. And if we're going to go like this, we're going to kind of zoom down. Um, I would say this is a horizontal line. But now if you just hold your mouse over an area where you want and you hit Alt H, that's a speed tool. Or if you want to click on this and then you have this and you want to go and identify quicker, you can, this is your, just an absolute speed tool. So you'll, whatever you're on, it will lock and it will do that. And then if you want to just delete everything, you go click, boof, and get that deleted. So there, I'm gonna minimize myself just a little bit. So right there, we have your basic, just your horizontal support and resistance line. But if you want to draw any trend line, if you want to just be able to draw, you know, the nice thing I really like about uh, drawing charts is you're more or less just painting a picture. You're, you, you're looking at something and you're trying to be like, what's the story? And, you know, is this is a, you know, it's, it's a falling wedge or is it a channel or is it a bull flag or a bear flag? And, and I'm just saying other things, but we're going to get into what pattern trading is as well. But Every time you're going to draw something, it's just, you're kind of just like I said, you, you're painting a picture, have fun with it. You know, none of these things, it's not going to be a hundred percent. If, if, if trading was a hundred percent, there would be algorithms and there would be bots and it would just be perfect, but human emotion plays into it. So it's like trying to guess the story, trying to fig figure things out on the go. Um, <laughs> also too, I find really important. So if you want to just draw any kind of like a, a curved line, so you want to have, just a curve line goes here, kind of grabs the bottom. We can have these <coughs> for other, um, other types of patterns. I'm just playing around what's going on here. Uh, if you want to have a brush, you want to just like draw on here, you can do whatever. It's just like a little extra sketch pad. So you can kind of have fun with that. Now, if you want to go and label, you want to be like, hey, what chart is this? I'm going to go and draw a chart. I'm going to publish it. And I want to just like, you know, kind of make notes for myself. So you can add text box. So here... We would go um, Bitcoin, and I'll say this is going to be the 12 hour. Oof. So let's do a 40 text. Or let's do a 32 text. Okay, boof. Now you just click and you can move this around. Also, too, if you want to do like a call out or you want to have a, a box, be like, um, say you bought. So you grabbed a thousand dollars worth of here. You would just be like, grabbed, bought a thousand bucks, bought or I bought one BTC. There. So then you go, boof. So now you can go like this, and you can adjust. So if you want to just make any notes, any adjustments, any callouts, any predictions, anything like that, you can draw it in that box. Go ahead, just go to the bottom. You can erase that. Uh, there also is other patterns. You can be drawn. You can start to get in really technical if you really want to make your stuff fancy. I don't really use any of these. I do sometimes. Some other important, really, really important tools are going to be price ranges. So you want to find out. You want to be like, okay, so for uh, this, let's say this run-up. How, how much was this run-up here? So this run-up was 66%. And you go click on here. How much was this decrease? You know, this decrease is down 23%. So there's your call outs. But then if also you want to find out, you want to be like, okay, well, how much was, how, how long of a time was it from here to get over here? You click on your ruler and you can go, you can grab here and then you can pull it all the way over. And we know that it was 209 bars. So it was 104 days, 11 hours. And then you can either go up or down to find out, was it a positive or a negative? Find out what the, the distance and the spread was on that. Uh, also too, so if we're going to go, I'm just going to erase all this again. Okay. Now right here is a watch list in your watch list. If you want to be able to add something, so say I wanted to, um, I already got sandbox in there. Uh, so if you, anything you want to add, just be, let's say you wanted to add uh, net VRK. Okay. Both. You click on that, you add it. Done. So net VRK part popped up here. So you're going to click on that. It's going to change the chart. So this is where you can go and set up just all your things that you like to watch. If you want to remove something, you just go, you want to re-add it, you add there. 
Also, if you want to have your search bar up in the very, very top here, you can type whatever you want um, in here and it'll try to find it. So yeah, other than, that, other than that, you guys, as these lessons come along, what we're going to do is I'm going to go break down one thing at one point in time. So I'm going to go just take a look at today. Oh, also too, if you want to go like this, here's how you scroll up and down. But if you use the roller of your mouse, you pull down, it brings it to the right. You push up, it takes it to the left. Or you can go and you can grab on the bottom and you can scroll like this. So that's how you get different time frames to take a look. So um, <laughs> to be honest, this is a lot of fun. It is a ton of fun when you can start looking at this and you can start playing around. So anyways, you guys, I hope you guys really like this content. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Set the trading view up how you enjoy it. Set it up what's visually appealing for you, what you like to look at. Maybe you like to look at light colors. Maybe you like to look at dark colors. Maybe you like to look at neon. Maybe you like to, to be a little more uh, opacity. That is completely up to you guys. But this is your trading view. You're going to be doing it. You can follow how I do it, or you can do it like yourself. But anyways, you guys, uh, until next week, I hope you guys had a bit of uh, enjoyed this. And I really, really look forward to getting into the topics and how to utilize that to make you become an above average trader without spending years and years practicing it. There's some simple tools. I'm going to try to give you guys some shortcuts. So anyways, other than that, for this week, over. Over.